What's going on, everybody? Long time no see, no talk. You can't tell I'm in my backyard right now. And I'm hoping my neighbors don't just come out and look at me all weird for sitting here talking to myself <laughs> or you i haven't been on here in a couple weeks and i felt like this would be a good time to sort of give an update um on my life what's been going on why i took a little bit of a break and just the trajectory of the future moving forward as of a couple weeks ago well lately in general i just just been feeling like i have been on my own hamster wheel um, I work for myself and so I kind of felt like I was getting into this routine of just trying to fill out the weekly schedule and what I mean by that is just trying to make a video for the next week just trying 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 and all this trying so to speak was me not really being authentic with myself and I needed some time to step back and reflect reflect on why I'm doing this in the first place as some of you may know uh, I lost my father uh, right around the age of 20, 20 years old, so that's about six years ago. And uh, my dad was a super caring, loving guy, um, was a great father, and I miss him so much. But one of the main things that I took from my dad was this willingness to just want to help others. Um, whatever it was in my life, with ever, whatever pursuit I chase in my lifetime, he was always extremely supportive. And not only that, but he wanted to extend his helping hand, if you will, to help me do better. And it was that way with basketball. Um, whenever I was trying to learn the guitar, whenever I started working out, I mean, my dad would be the type of guy who I'd wake up with emails of articles sent to me just for him trying to give me some advice. Right around the time that I got into photography was maybe eight months prior to my dad's death. And that alone gave everything a lot more reason, a lot more purpose, and a lot more, uh, more of a legacy to live on. And um, with the timing of everything, uh, it, you know, photography and filmmaking, well, photography at that time, because I didn't get into filmmaking until later on, but photography was the thing that really just helped me cope with the loss. It helped me get through it. And um, I know that my dad was always the type to want me to pursue something. Like he just wanted me to be passionate about something. And so that gave me even more, you know, passion for it. And for all of that, you know, I'm really thankful that I had something to lean on during that hard time. But it has led me to want to live an intentional life it has led me to want to fulfill my dreams and because I know that that's exactly what my dad wanted for me and what I've had to you know peel back and ask myself is what is on a simple level what is it that you're trying to do with your life and the only thing that I can think of is I just want to be the helping hand for someone else that my father was for me. You know, all along I knew my purpose was something related to my dad, but I was just trying to make it too complicated. And I just f felt like me being in this whole rat race with things. Sorry if you can hear that bird back there. I guess they're fighting over something. <laughs> but um, what all of that, all this time off reminded me was for one, I was trying to do too many things at once to the point where I wasn't getting anywhere. And two, just my whole approach with making content needed some refining. There were times where I wasn't really trying to lend out a helping hand. I was just, or at least in my opinion, I feel like I was just talking and running my mouth. <laughs> but obviously that's my own opinion of myself. There's probably, maybe, hopefully, somebody out there who is gaining value from something. My main intention with everything that I do, with everything that I create, with content on YouTube, um, Instagram, literally almost every social media outlet that, I act, that I'm active on, I want to really do what, I, <laughs> do what I can to help people. God, they are going crazy over there. 
there's nothing really more to that. It's just me, I, I needed some time off to really realize the intention with everything. And it's definitely a lot more clear now um, what I'm doing with my life and what I'm doing with things. You know, I, I do work with a camera. But the thing is, and the thing that I've had to battle this whole time is like, I do work with a camera, but I don't want to be known as the guy with the camera. I don't want to be solely known as a freelance videographer or a filmmaker or even a cinematographer. Yeah, that would be great and that would be cool and I would still be down to do that, obviously. Like I'll still take on projects and whatnot, but my main focus is helping other creatives. We're all creatives, everybody is creative. I wanna help creative people just live better lives. And the reason for that is one, because of my dad, you know, his helping hand, and two, I just feel like this world needs that. Um, you know, the more I go out and experience life, the more I realize without any judgment, take this without any judgment, I just feel like this world needs some help. And I'm not saying that I have all the answers by any means, but I, I want to help myself. So that's why I choose to learn and read and just get out there with me doing that, I hope that I can at least share a little bit of piece of a, a piece of a helpful. With doing that, I hope that I can share some helpful information that I learn along the way. And I know I've said this before. This isn't, you know, this isn't broadcasting news or anything. I know some of you that have been sticking along know this already, but I needed the reminder. Not only that, but I needed something to help give me a little more purpose to push myself and not get caught in a rat race again where I'm just trying to check off a list. You know what I mean? I'm also really looking forward to just keeping it real with you guys. Um, you know, keeping it real by just literally talking about what's on my mind and not feeling like I have to get in this curated little outline in order to talk about it. You know, with people out there, you know, creating amazing content like Matt Diavella, Nathaniel Drew, just to name a few. I mean, their content is amazing. And you watch that and you're like, oh my God, my content needs to be somewhat like that in order for me to get my point across. And yeah, maybe to some, but not to all. I don't think that it's exclusive to having fancy editors in order to get a point across. I think, honestly, a lot of people just need some realness in their life. They just need some raw realness in their lives. It's great to watch polished, you know, content and it, you know, it's very admirable and worth watching. And for the most part, their points that they're making are very helpful. And not to say that I don't want to create content like that, but to keep things moving, to keep the ball rolling, and to really feel like I'm getting my message out there, I realize that I need a healthy balance, just like with anything. I need a healthy balance because I keep wanting to just get stuff out there, but I put all these different masks on and feel like I have to be this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy in order to actually do it. And then I get in my head, I'm like, man, that just sounds exhausting. I don't want to do that. And then I end up not getting my message out at all. I'm done thinking that way. <laughs> you know, I needed this time off to, to actually come to terms with that. And I, I'm, I'm at the point where I'm not even really, I don't even want to share my work anymore. Because like I said, I don't want to be known as a camera guy. I just want to be somebody who is helpful and is willing to go into life with a observational mindset and in hopes of just finding answers and every time i find an answer i just want to be able to talk talk about it <laughs> just like how i am right now just out here you know hoping my neighbors don't come out here and see me just talking to a camera but this is exactly what i want to do and if you got to this point of the video man i'm thankful for you and if you're if you've been watching the videos and you've been keeping up with everything just know that I'm extremely grateful for you and you know this journey together is going to be amazing I know that you know we're going to gain something from this together collectively and I'm just excited for it so with that being said thanks for listening to me ramble and talk about my life and my past and you know all the things that I deal with <laughs> um so yeah talk to you later peace